Hi, I'm Eli Holderness. I'm a developer advocate at Scaleway. We're a small European cloud service provider, and I'm talking at GoTo about WebAuthn and passwordless authentication. So passwords suck. We know this as a user experience. They suck. They're difficult to remember. And even if you use a password manager, it's just kind of unwieldy. They're also difficult to store securely. If you look at Have I Been Pwned, the um, I said Troy Hunter is the guy who runs that, I think, and you can see millions, billions of passwords and username combinations that have been leaked. So they're insecure and they're bad user experience. Can we do better as developers, as designers of this user experience? And the answer is yes, yes we can. So we already have public key cryptography, um, asymmetric uh, cryptography where you can have a secret private key and you can demonstrate ownership of that private key by signing things with it and having a corresponding public key. And very, very clever hardware engineers managed to make um, hardware security tokens which physically embody these private keys and so that means that you can have a security factor which is something you own as well as something you know like a password and this is where we get the idea of multi-factor authentication and this is all very well and good I'm going to go into the mechanisms of the standards that make this work over the over the web because there are some standards called web Authn and CTAP and WebAuthn defines how browsers should talk to security tokens, and CTAP defines how security tokens should talk back. They're kind of like a mirroring set of specifications. Together, they're known as FIDO2. So if you see a hardware token that's um, called a FIDO2 compliant hardware token, it means it follows these specifications. And any web party, any web application that's following the WebAuthn standards uh, will be able to interact with it. You'll be able to use that to authenticate without knowing a password. And there's lots of really cool facts about these hardware tokens. They're by design, they never let private keys leave the device, which I think is very, very cool. Um, and so my talk is about how this actually works, some of the usability features of hardware tokens, some of their drawbacks, where the technology might take us next. I'm gonna talk about pass keys, which are the new hotness in the web security world, um, what they are, how they work, what their security posture is, and then finally look at where we might go next in the future and what the future of the user experience of authentication could look like.